Hello viewers, I am Leopold Munende. There were wild scenes of celebration at late music icon Oliver Mtukudzi's funeral when hundreds of MDC followers mobbed popular opposition leader Nelson Chamisa as he left the ceremony some moments after Tuku's body was lowered into his grave. Swelling crowds followed the MDC leader as he was striding towards his waiting car, which was some 300 meters from Tukudzi's homestead, where the national hero was buried. Chamisa's aides had difficulties trying to control ecstatic MDC supporters who chanted his name and sang songs which were apparently denouncing his enemies. When the opposition chief tried to access the venue earlier during the day, he was blocked from entering the gate by a barricade of police officers and other security agents who were deployed to manage the crowds. Chamisa was later allowed inside the venue where media cameras and smartphone lenses from other mourners quickly abandoned Defense Minister Opam Chinguri Kashiri and focused on the opposition leader. He immediately mingled with the crowd and did not make any effort to go to the VIP tent which housed dignitaries who included cabinet ministers Kesti Coventry, Monica Mtwangwa, Kazembe Kazembe among others. The former Kwazana legislator and lawyer had occasion to elbow his way through the crowd to the gravesite where he got an opportunity to pour some debt as per right inside the late musician's grave. Meanwhile, thousands of Zimbabweans attended Tuku's funeral at his rural Madziva home with many failing to gain access into the homestead where the ceremony was conducted. Vehicles lined up both sides of the Bindura Mount Darwin Road forming a stretch of almost 10 kilometers. Most of the vehicles played Tuku's music. Addressing mourners at the funeral, Minister Mchinguri Kashiri, who was delivering a speech on behalf of President Emerson Mnangagwa, sang praises for the late internationally acclaimed music icon. Mtukuzi passed away on Wednesday and was declared a national hero after a hugely successful music career spanning four decades. Reporting for NewZimbabwe.com, this is Leopold Munende. For this and more stories, log on to our website www.newzimbabwe.com. Follow us on Twitter at newzimbabwe.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel, NewZim TV.